loves welcome back to sister to sister or should I say sisters and brothers I am so humbled I'm so happy because sister to sister is growing every day and I have just as many guys writing me about relationships just as I have women and I'm touched by it because at the end of the day, it goes to show that everybody wants to improve, that they do want to be in good relationships. And that for sure goes for men. Alrighty, so I got an email from somebody and I'm going to read it to you. Hi Fumi, I know that you have a sister to sister channel and that's why I'm coming to you. I love your channel so very much and it has improved me in so many different ways. This letter is about my relationships. I have had nothing but unsuccessful relationships and I don't know what is wrong. I'm drained. I'm in a relationship now that isn't going anywhere. I'm getting older and I want to be married and I want to have a family. I feel alone in this relationship. Relationship. Sounds strange, I know, but hopefully you can address this. Thank you so very much, and I love you, your little sister. Hello, little sis. This touches my soul. So here we are. She says she feels alone in the relationship. Why stay? Why stay? Because I'm afraid of being physically alone because this relationship is better than not being any relationship at all. Perhaps you share the bills. He pays more than you. You still love him in different ways and you're not prepared to take that leap of faith. Repeat, leap of faith. You're getting older and so you feel that, you know what, maybe he will marry you eventually or whatever he's going to give you, you will settle for. It's not so bad after all. I have other friends that are not in any relationships at all. I should consider myself lucky. What am I talking about? At the end of the day, people are always striving for this impossible, happy relationship. It doesn't exist. What am I complaining about? What am I talking about? I should be grateful for the little that I have. All right. So I tell you this. You have to look within yourself. Everything starts with self, self-love, self-respect, ambition, motivation, drive. It starts with self. Whether you are married, whether you're engaged, whether you're boyfriend, girlfriend, everything starts with self. You have to be the best that you possibly can be. And that starts with your standards your morals, your ethics, your principles. You have to love yourself first. And I'm going to explain to you, and I'm going to use myself as an example. From 31-ish to 39, I was not in any relationship because I had been in disastrous relationships in the past. And I had to grow and know who I was and self-love and find respect for myself, find dignity for myself, and all these little insecurities that I had, I had to face them on and deal with them one by one. Because as much as I wanted to be in a relationship, I was not ready to be in a relationship. You see, it's so easy to say, I want my husband to be rich, to be handsome, to be tall, to be this, to be that. What are you contributing? What are you putting head on before you get into that relationship? What are you giving right out there into the marketplace? Are you being the best that you can be? Are you earning as much money as you possibly can? Have you finished your education? Are you still adding skills and talents to yourself? Because you see, it's a two-way street. When push comes to shove, why hasn't he married you? Why haven't you done the things that would make you absolutely irresistible? And that goes in a marriage as well. As I'm married to Ula, trust and believe when I tell you I take care of my business. I take care of mine for me. It is all the things that he's attracted to, but him aside, I have to do it for me. There's no point getting complacent in relationship, weight gain, not going to work, putting the heavy load on his shoulders. The last time I checked, it's supposed to be a 50-50 deal. All right, fine, maybe you're not feeling well this day, this month, whatever, but you have to pick yourself up because it is a team effort. To stay irresistible, to stay fabulous, that is work you have to do for yourself. By the time I hit 38, 39, 
I was debt free. I was debt free. I had paid for my car and I was looking to buy my place. That is a fact. Then Ula came into my life. Looking back in hindsight, Ula or John or Peter or whoever could have come at that time. Why? Because I was bankable, because I was ready, because I was irresistible, because I had all my skills set in place. I was debt free, travel light, my body was banging and I was hard to trot. I was funny again. I could have any conversation on any platform, be it politics, pop culture, fashion, literature, history. I put myself out there to be the best. I broke myself all the way down and I built myself up again because I realized that it started with me. That was why I was in these disastrous relationships, because I was settling for less. Why was I settling for less? Because of my insecurities, because I felt I wasn't good enough, because you're this, because you're that, for whatever crazy reason. What we fail to realize is that the mental slavery is the worst slavery of all. And that goes for men and that goes for women. You have to break those chains. I tell you, always have a pristine and pure place that you can go to within yourself, that nobody can breach, that nobody can disrespect, that nobody can take advantage of. Be it your father, your mother, your brother, your husband, your coworker, your boss, anybody, you tell them, stop right there, and you walk away. You have to have your standards, and you have to learn that compromising is encouraging the other person's bad behavior. If he doesn't feel like marrying you, and you're still there, that is on you. It is not on him. You're only encouraging him to sleep with you, to waste your time, to go on and have other relationships outside of the already failing relationship. You're alone in a relationship is the saddest of it all. You can be in a crowded room and you can feel alone. And that is not healthy. Because here is the thing. You have to find the courage, step up out and shed that skin like a season, we're in autumn now. And take that leap of faith because it will be the best for you. All of my girlfriends, every single one of my girlfriends is divorced. That I went to university with, that I went to high school with, they're divorced. They married early, some married for the wrong reasons, some married for money, some married because they wanted to have children right away. I cannot tell you how many bridesmaid dresses I have. Sometimes I didn't want to go. <laughs> I was like, here again. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. But I stuck to my beliefs because I'm worth it, because I am fabulous. But you have to believe that. And once you believe your worth, then it is impossible for anybody to breach or disrespect your space and the person that you are. I tell you, when Ula and I met, Ula, how old are you? Ula, how much do you earn? I asked him. The, the questions and the relationship I had with Ula, 39 going 40, was completely different from what I had when I was 20. Oh, he's hot. Oh, I'm going to meet him at the party. Yes, yes, he is. Hot, hot, hot. This, that, and the other. At 39, I knew myself. I knew who I was and I knew what I could contribute to any relationship. So off the bat, yes, your name, your family, where you from, what do you do, what are your beliefs? Ula and I talked about that and we were not intimate until our wedding night. That can wait because when push comes to shove, girlfriend has to be clear headed. And I say this to women, restrain from physical relationships off the bat. It's not going to work for you. You need to retain your power and you need to clear your head. Longevity only lasts when there's mutual respect, when there's a deeper love, and it's not a physical love. It's a deeper spiritual, emotional love. Anything that happens to Ula, anything, I'm there. Anything that happens to me, he's there. 
you have to talk about the important, embarrassing, difficult, uncomfortable situations and discussions and topics. That is what counts. Because at the end of the day, I need to know, is he even worth having me as he wants to know whether I'm worth having him? And that is what makes a power couple because you're coming together, you're going to explode. You're going to powwow everything in front of you. You will be able to do it together. Even if your boyfriend and girlfriend date, let him pick you up. Who is his family? Who are his friends? What is he looking towards? I give my father that respect. He is a man of his word. He's a gentleman of his word. That goes also for my father-in-law, Daddy Vold. He's a gentleman of his word. My brothers, don't waste the girl's time. If you're only there for little cookies, you know what? <laughs> There's a place you can go and pay for that. If that is your thing, don't waste her time. Be a gentleman and be of your word. Embrace her if she's your queen. If she's your queen, marry her. Why not? If this is what you are going towards in the future, because guess what? She can also come off your train and you will never find anybody as good as her. It starts with self. Work hard. Don't waste your time on things that are trivial. Be of substance because at the end of the day, time will show the person that you are. It is so sad to be in 2017, and I know there are many of you ladies out there, oh my God, because of the children, because of this, because of that. I don't agree. Your ultimate goal should be self, because you are a better mother, you're a better person, you're a better wife, you're a better person in society. You might not be able to do things right away, but if you know that you have given it your all and this is a constant disregard, disrespect, and you find yourself not even crying anymore, you understand me, the way you used to initially, then you are now having those scabs on the wound. You no longer care. You're becoming indifferent. You now want to hate the world. You are angry because of things that have passed you by. It starts with self. You have to set those barriers. You have to set those standards. And you shouldn't be scared because you don't know what is at the end of the door. But believe you me, it is better than the position that you are in. Always fight. Always be strong. Do not think it doesn't happen to me. No. It always happens to me. I have certain challenges and I keep plowing through because tomorrow the sun will come out again. And next week, next month, next year, you will almost literally laugh at this if you have taken that leap of faith or you will look back with regret. I could have been somebody. I could have been somewhere else. And that is true. This person could leave now go back onto the market shelf, go back to school, go back to college, take a course, go back to the gym, make friends with other people, start to go out, take that plunge and say, I want to do photography. Take that plunge and say, you know what? I'm really fascinated with forensic medicine. Take all those dreams that you had and make them a reality. And in that journey, you will meet somebody else. It's always like that. But if you stay stagnant, where the river doesn't move, nothing moves. That is exactly what it will be next week, next month, next year. Even in your marriage, do not stop. Always contribute. Always strive to be better. Because you're a team. You're a team. It is 50-50. Some days, Ula is strong and I'm not so strong. Some days I'm strong, Ula is not so strong. It doesn't matter, I can carry us both. It doesn't matter, he can carry the two of us. But don't be complacent and don't stay in a stagnant relationship because you are actually saying goodbye to all of the opportunities that are standing right at your doorstep. It takes one step in the right direction for you to go, but you have to do it. It is not the person that you're in a relationship with. Not at all. Do I blame them? To an extent, but they've got theirs coming. The thing is that you are no longer going to invest yourself in this stagnant relationship, in this toxic relationship, be it female, be it male, be it platonic, be it intimate, because you are better than that. Until you understand your worth, 
and you understand what you attain for and what you're striving for, you will never be able to make a headway. And that is the point. We want to be better. We don't want to look at other people on Instagram and see them coupling up and they're doing all of these great videos and they're going on holidays together and da 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 da. Some of it is a facade and some of it is actually true. Either way, it doesn't matter. The picture, the image, the dream is very enticing. You want that for yourself and you can get that for yourself. Did you hear the word? For yourself. It starts with self. Whatever you want, sincerely, you can get. You want to have better schools for your children? You can. Does it mean that you have to take an extra job? Does it mean you have to take extra hours? Does it mean that perhaps you and your husband have to sit down and play musical chairs around and see what you can let go of? Yes, it can. Do you want to do this job? Do you want to have this career? And you feel, you know what, I'm 60 now, I cannot. That is ridiculous. My uncle that I love him so much, Uncle Sam, he's 88. Yeah, uh, Ula. 88. And he's still there. He walks around. He does his thing. We go and, ah? Uh, 88. 88. He's 88. Uncle Sam is 88. So funny. So alive. And Ula, he, he did everything he wanted to. Eh, Ula? Everything he wanted to. And he told me, he said for me, there's nothing like late. Late is when you're six foot in the ground. <laughs> and so I embrace age. I embrace my time because I'm coming stronger, much more knowledgeable, and much more prepared because I've made a couple of mistakes so I know what to do and what not to do. My beautiful sisters, my beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful brothers, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. This is a priceless and fundamental advice I am giving you. Ask your mama, ask your papa. Trust me when I tell you, they'll say, oh, mm -mm. yeah, she, she right. Get up, get out. Don't waste your time with anything or anyone. If it does not serve you, if it does not bring and burn the fire inside of you, let it go. You're investing in something that will never bear fruit. It's like pouring water in a bucket that has a hole at the bottom. The relationship is going nowhere. If you are lonely in a relationship, there's no point to you being there. It might mean you have a small apartment. It might mean that you might have less money. It might mean that his friends might not be your friends anymore, or your friends might not hang out with you anymore, or you might not do couples night. Let it go. Find your prince. Find your prince that will treat you like a queen. Sending you all of my love, darlings. We'll speak soon. Don't forget, to like, to subscribe, put all of your comments down below. Stay fabulous, keep your standards high, and add tags. God bless. Bye.